Okay, so as you know, GNOME 42 was released and I was super interested in actually seeing how it performed. And today I'm using a virtual box. This is actually Boxes by GNOME, which is a pretty cool application. I had never used it and it just works nicely. So what's new in GNOME 42? Currently I'm using uh, GNOME 40, so I'm gonna go check the differences and uh, settings, I'm used to type system settings because of. So I can immediately already see that the look is different. As an example, the shadows were not there before and I think it's pretty nice. The light gray also seems lighter in the header, but that uh, might also be because I'm using the Ubuntu theme in GNOME 40. Still, it's pretty nice and we now have an appearance tab. And this is actually new from GNOME 42, which sounds weird to a person that has used like KD Plasma for in his entire life because appearance uh, sounds like something you should always have but it actually has this nice feature that KD Plasma, KD Plasma doesn't have which is dynamic wallpaper so let's try a couple and I think it's incredibly cool that you can switch between wallpapers when you switch from light to dark theme I'm slightly confused by the fact that the light theme preview also has a dark uh, window. I guess that that's to say that this remains dark, my best guess is. We also have a new look here, if I'm not mistaken. There's no more like indicator and it, it looks pretty nice. Like it's, um, let me try a couple more. Oh, this wallpaper is lovely actually. I like this one. And again, dynamic wallpapers, which is impressive to say the least. And um, I wonder if you can actually add dynamic wallpapers. Of course, I have no pictures, so I can test that. But I, uh, I wonder if you can like add a new wallpaper that's not just an image, but uh, also uh, two images and just switch between them depending on the system theme. For sure, uh, the distribution maintainers can do that. The wallpapers, by the way, are very nice i was just going through them i like them and there's the new look here you've still got balanced versus power saving and wi-fi hopefully i've seen some mock-ups of being actually able to see like what audio i'm using directly here that would be super cool to have there's also oh by the way it's just style and background in the appearance tab which is less than other desktops but i mean at least it's that. And also this multitasking, multitasking window might not be new in GNOME 42, but I surely don't have it in GNOME 40, so I wanted to give it a look. We've got an option to turn on and off the odd corner and active uh, screen edges to drag windows to resize them. And although I gotta say, I don't know why you, you would want to turn this one off. It's nice to have a, the option to have a fixed number of workspaces, although I totally do prefer dynamic ones. And you have these options in case you have multi monitors on where to show the overview effect. And finally, if you want to include application from all workspaces or from the current workspace only, when you do application switching, I'm not sure what that actually means. Let's try it out. Okay, so you can see that I do have both files and settings, even though they are in different workspaces. And by the way, files is completely look, looking different from what I'm used to. And in theory, I should also have in here the new text editor and the new console as well. So let's pop that one up as well, the new console. What was that? Corrections? Connections? The icons are so nice to see though. So what I'm really impressed by, oh, so this is dark mode. So maybe that's what was referenced in system settings. What I'm really impressed by is the ability to, do, to set the theme directly from the menu bar. And I guess this one is hard coded to black, but you can change it to follow system theme. And that's, wow, <laughs> that's a very nice feature. I really like it. This, I guess, is text size and uh, Let's do a new file. Right now the um, text editor is very bare-bone, but I've seen some like m developments in Twitter and it makes it look very good. Let's show line numbers and the right margin. Like right now it seems to be missing the text preview, but I've seen that it is a feature that's coming and it looked super good on that peak on Twitter. So. 
Uh, touch screen scrolling, which is actually a feature that I love from Gedit or Gedit as whatever you call it, uh, seems to be missing here, but that might be because of boxes. I never understood. I usually test live, but I couldn't do it today. And this is the console. Similarly, you've got themes, and that's actually about it. You've got tabs. Even though I like a lot KD Plasma, I, I'm not against title bars that contains button the header bars, especially considering that you can drag and drop from anywhere. And that's something that you cannot say about KD Plasma. Like, of course, you can drag and drop from anywhere on the title bar, but if you try to drag and drop from uh, Dolphin's uh, location bar, it actually doesn't work, even though, visually speaking, the location bar is inside the header bar um, section of the window. Yeah, I'm totally impressed by the new look. The new look. Also, something that's new in GNOME 42, so let's give it a look, is the new way to take screenshots button, which is this one. So there is a integrated UI, which looks very nice, and you can drag and drop this square to select the place. You can also do a whole screen or a particular window and there's a UI to actually select what window we're talking about. You can <laughs> apparently even do context menus in particular. And you can switch between screenshot and screencast. I wonder if screencast actually works. I mean, I'm recording through OBS, so that should be fine. And we can see the recording on the top right. And let's try to move this out of the way and then stop it. Let's view the video and it seems to work flawlessly. That's actually impressive and if it works on Wayland and I guess why not, that's super useful for me when actually testing out GNOME 42 if I want to show a new feature when actually using the hard hardware. That's super useful because most uh, desktops don't actually come with a screen recorder and built in. Did uh, the screenshot the thing disappeared and it's not coming back? Hello? Oh, there it is. The only weird thing is that it starts from the crop area being at the center. I personally think it's much better if you start from like full screen or you just select an area and it's not assumed to be this area at the center at the beginning. But that's such a minor thing that it shouldn't be of any issue whatsoever. Let's take a screenshot. And you then get the jig sound, which is pretty cool. Let's open up the screenshot and that works nicely as well. Notification seems to be working pretty well. And this is the calendar. If I had something, I guess I never tried this, it's not about GNOME 42 specifically, but if I had an uh, hello it's me event like this, just and then close it, it's going to be here. here. Wow. Well, that's super nice. In KD Plasma, it's nowhere as simple, unluckily, because you do actually have to install the KE organizer or at least ID, and uh, sometimes it's not included by default and the UI is not exactly the best right now, but Calendar is going to change that. There are themes, still some applications like this one that force the black theme but don't actually provide a uh, option to switch between them. I guess is that here these are actually the new Libat White applications as far as, uh, as I know. And I mean, if this is the feature of GNOME, then the feature of GNOME looks solid, really solid.